Hey guys, welcome back. So finally I have for you a favorite. I know it has been a while, so let's start. So now this bunch is quite a mixed one. Um, so I'm gonna start with food because that hardly happens. I also wanna have to give a shout out to this yogurt and I'm talking about the Wee French style yogurt. Um, I was really uh, intrigued when I saw it at my local grocery store because I have seen the commercials and I'm a really yogurt kind of a gal. Like I'm not a fan too much into um, ice cream because sometimes I find it too sweet. So that's why I like yogurt because it's a little bit more tart. Now, I think what I kind of love about them, I mean, first thing first is the packaging. I mean, they're so cute. They come in like this little jar glass and then on top they have like this foil. When you remove it, they have like a beautiful reading like quote of the day, which I think is really thoughtful. Um, and for sure it has to be the flavor now. They have almost like a custard consistency. So they're really thick, which I really appreciate. Um, and then I pick up a few flavors. I pick up vanilla, strawberry key lime mango and peach and from all of them definitely my favorite one was vanilla um and to me i kind of like yogurt more as a breakfast whether it is to snack on i like to put always a little bit of granola on top this is just kind of like the way that i like to eat my yogurt and i really love the texture um because when i eat yogurt i like to eat it like parfait um but it's really good um definitely i feel like it's perfect if you're not a fan of yogurt or you want to give yogurt a try um I feel like this French style one is easier to please because it isn't too tart, it isn't too sweet. I feel like it's just perfect. Now let's start with beauty because I feel like that's mostly what I do. Um, the first one that has become my favorite this month has to be my Glossier Lash Slick Mascara. Um, I think you guys saw it on my first impressions video which was the last one that I filmed. And I really am hooked with this one. Um, and really astonished with myself because I'm not typically a fan of um, mascaras. They have like these really thin bristles. I kind of like uh, the big clummy ones because I hardly have hairs. So that's why I feel like sometimes I need a little bit more poof, if that makes any sense. Um, but with this one, it kind of changed up the game for me. I love it because it really creates volume and length in my lashes. And I also love the the product itself because it's easier to remove like I remove it with water and that's it and it still holds up the curl it doesn't smudge on me I think it's perfect and I feel like for an everyday mascara um, this one is just right up my alley and I really have been feeling it and I also love the fact that I can keep laying in a product and it still doesn't look clummy and it still doesn't hurt my lashes so I'm really happy that Glossier came up with this one another beauty favorite this month for me has to be my beauty blender um, for some reason I just stopped using brushes and I think I know why um, when I used to um, I always got like little tiny bumps right here around my nose I don't know if maybe this part of my face is quite delicate but it happened a lot and it was really bothering me so I went back in with the beauty blender and the problem stopped um, and I think also what I kind of love is that it really creates a lot of joyness in my skin I'm really loving like the really fresh look um, and mostly of the time I just use concealer because right now my skin is behaving quite well um, so I guess that's why the beauty blender works um, I heard that they actually made a foundation so I'm really intrigued to try it probably has to be something like very much into the creamier side because obviously I think it has to be blended with the beauty blender but this is like my favorite makeup tool to use and so glad that I got it um, almost two years ago so it's still going strong another makeup favorite um, has to be going back to lip liners um, I don't know I remember obviously when the Kylie Jenner boom started and everyone was wearing it and then I think it stopped for a bit but for some reason now I'm getting back to it and I think it's because she actually posted she had like a new lip liner I think it's the coconut one which I think I'm gonna get and I also need to repurchase my Dirty Peach which is like my favorite lip liner ever but actually I have been using a lot my MAC Nice and Spicy um, I kind of love because it's like a really muted uh, almost like rosy brown and I like to put it all over my lips and then typically I like to take a lipstick for example this one is MAC kind of sexy and just dab it on the center of my lips so I kind of really love because it makes my lip um, 
in a way I feel a little bit more luscious and I kind of love it because um, I do have lips so it's not like I'm trying to build them up more but I kind of love that they give you by the end of the day this stain and I think like lip liners are just the perfect item on the go because they do last more than a lipstick and again if you don't have that much lip they definitely can draw you in more um, but yes this duo I have been using it non-stop and yep it's from MAC now I feel this is the last makeup one but yes has to be my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Full Coverage Concealer you know you have seen this stuff on my channel plenty of time and what I love about this concealer I mean first thing first I'm wearing it today and it's just really creamy and even though that it is a full coverage concealer I guess the fact that it's really creamy um, you can blend it in so much that it hardly looks like you're wearing a lot and second of all I love to apply it everywhere around my face so it's great for covering pimples scars dark circles I use it actually just as a base um, if you want to check out my summer makeup routine which I'm gonna link below I'm wearing this baby out and as you can see clearly it creates a lot of joyness in your skin which that is what really impressed me about this concealer because even though that it's a full coverage one it doesn't have that matte finish and yes um, I do have to pick up a lighter shade when the winter time comes because I think I'm gonna stick to this one for a while my skin is loving it and yes I really love the natural finish that it has now keeping it under the beauty part I have to talk about getting back to nail varnishes um, I used to be like a girl who couldn't stop doing her nails i mean obviously uh painting them and for some reason i just stopped i don't know i feel like i was into inspired then a few weeks ago i started to clean up my drawers i think i throw out mostly all of my nail varnishes because they were completely drying out but then i went back in because i felt like i needed to maybe find inspiration i went to the exit counter and of course i fell in love with a lot of them but i think the one that i have been wearing on sub has to be essie central pay which i'm wearing it right now and it's like these gorgeous very muted uh soft gray i think like gray nails were great on me and this time of year i kind of love or red or gray nails and i forgot how much i love this uh nail colors i feel like for an everyday they're perfect and obviously i mean s is not a nail polish that lasts a lifetime but i feel like for example for a three or four day period i guess this work they don't hurt my nails and i don't know like I said before, they make me fall in love again with nail varnishes. So yes, I have been hooked up to Central Pay. Now another uh, beauty favorite, and I think if you saw me or follow me on Instagram, you might know already because I have posted pictures, Instagram stories, and I'm talking about my Coco uh, Mademoiselle Velvet Body Oil. Now. To make this long story short, every time that I went to the Chanel counter while I was paying something or buying something, I always put on this oil on me and then uh, head out. And for some reason, I always feel like the, the, the scent lingers through my head. I was just like, this smells so good. I'm gonna pick that up. And then obviously when I went, the product was sold out, so I had to buy it online. Typically happens. And I didn't get the buzz about it until I read into it. But what I kind of love about this velvet body oil let me put a little bit to show you guys um it has the coco mademoiselle fragrance scents but with a really sultry and very delicate way so for example if you're like myself that heavy perfumes um give you a little bit of a headache that's why i love body oils especially this one from chanel because it's just really soft and as you can see it gives to your skin this gorgeous glow and even though that it is an oil it doesn't stay as an oil but basically does is moisturize your skin and leaves in it this gorgeous very soft scent of the coco mademoiselle fragrance and i think something that i believe that a lot of people also are hooked about it is probably the price i mean if you buy the perfume version the perfume maybe is like 130 140 while this body oil i think it's like 60 dollars so i guess that's why a lot of people are hooked of it because you can keep buying it it's not crazy expensive and you have the coco mademoiselle fragrance but in a really more light and very delicate way so i just leather this all over my body i can stop wearing it it's smells so good and yes this has been my perfume of choice this month now if you know me um you know that i do color my hair now my hair is naturally dark i mean it isn't black it's brown 
but um, I like to dye my hair black just to make it look a little bit more healthier and I feel like it works great with my skin now something that I have used a lot is this uh, leave-in conditioning now I do rely a lot of leave-in conditioners because my hair is really dry and it's really thin so I do need obviously a little bit extra moisture on it plus I am a sucker for hot water and that I feel like is the worst thing that you can do to your hair so it makes sense now typically I used to use my silicone mix one which they don't make anymore so I found out this one and this one is actually I think it's from Walgreens and I love it um it's the Cantu Shea Butter Living Conditioning Repair Cream what basically what I do is I use my Bumble and Bumble um straight shampoo and then I rinse my hair, let it air dry a little bit, and then I just smother my hair with this conditioning. I live in it for almost like 15 minutes. Then I rinse it out with cold water, let my hair air dry, and then I just went in with the flat iron. And I love what it does to my hair because it, as you can see, it creates um, a lot of shininess. And for a person who colors her hair, it's really hard to make it look healthy and i guess this works and i also use it a lot on my ends now i don't blow dry my hair um so i guess it's a bonus i mean it's not like flat iron your hair makes it better but at least it doesn't break it as much or i feel it doesn't dry it so if you do have colored hair if you have darker hair if you have your hair that it looks a little bit i don't know like harsh and dry um this one from Cantu works it's really inexpensive and i think it lasts you a lifetime like i bought this i think it has been me for almost three months and it still has a lot left so yes um definitely you get your money's worth of this one i think it costs like seven or eight dollars now talking about skincare i have to say that i do love my biosan squalene uh retinol serum i forgot the name i think i just butcher it but if you know me you know i love drunk elephant it's one of my favorite brands and i like to buy the minis to try them out and then obviously go full size if i feel like it so if you follow me on instagram i did buy the night duo which you can buy at sephora and actually what it brings is the virgin marula luxury facial oil with the tlc from book glycolic night serum now with this two the maruco oil mm, is good it's just i'm not a fan of maruco oil for some reason i it smells like canola oil to me but i have to give most most love to this one the glycolic night serum I feel like once you put it in your skin it just feels like you're bursting it out with so much moisture and i love how it makes my skin looks after it i mean this is a night treatment so of course when you wake up in the morning your skin looks incredible and i really love it um and i think not just for night i like to use it also in the daylight i mean obviously this is not gonna last me as much but yeah i think this is gonna be my second purchase of drunk elephant because my skin is obsessed with this product and i like to put it basically just around my mouth and on the center of my eyes because it's where i have a little bit of a expression lines but it's so good um and i kind of love the fact that you can buy these minis because you can test it out i think for almost i think that likes you like maybe two weeks and i feel like it's time enough to see maybe a little bit of a difference but yes guys if you want to check out drunk elephant i recommend definitely the vitamin c serum and this one the tlc from boo glycolic night serum okay so now i think it's time to talk a little bit about style now i have to give some loving to the jewelry that i'm wearing i am a huge fan of misoma if you don't know yet misoma is a brand that i think they're originally from the uk and now they ship from the us and i have to stop myself because i'm gonna go bankrupt but i mean it's gorgeous what you can say um the first thing i remember that i got was this choker this one is the instellar drop choker i actually saw it on claire marshall's sorry lost my voice there i actually saw it on claire marshall and i loved it so i did pick it up this has like an 18 card i believe go wash and guys i sleep breathe wash myself <laughs> with this thing on and as you can see it doesn't um the gold it doesn't uh, come off it really maintains its shine and it's so gorgeous and i kind of love that i can put it obviously on my neck or put it a little bit low and you can kind of play with the lens there um so that gave me into the fact to buy a bracelet so the other one that i picked up is this one which is the i believe it's the evil eye 
and I kind of love that yes you can see it has a little bit of an evil eye uh, little diamond right there and then I kind of love as well as with the necklaces you can choose the length if you want it a little bit more tight or a little bit more loose obsessed but then <laughs> just a few days ago I got this one now if you follow Lucy Williams she's a really popular blogger but she makes a lot of collaborations with Misoma and she did this Roman collection so I have to pick up this one and I love it now it's a little bit more of a yellow gold I kind of like the lighter gold but I love how it blends it with everything and again you can put it a little bit more low or a little bit more high and I love Miso Majority because it's really delicate. It's meant to layer their pieces together. And I'm completely hooked. And for sure this has been my jewelry of choice. I don't think I have tried anything yet. Now I am eager to try their earrings because I do have a few piercings. And I love how they layered all the pieces together. So bear with me. Help me God. I don't want to keep buying jewelry because I think I'm going a little bit mad. But... I know that I'm gonna get probably earrings next. Now another side favorites, I have to talk about the camis. I use them a lot. This one in particular now, they come like the little bit of the string that has the same material as the top. Now I got this one, I think it's Forever 21 or Urban Outfitters, I'm a little bit unsure. I think it's Forever 21, but they sell out uh, this ones. I mean, they're meant to be almost like underwear, but because they're so thick, you can actually wear them as crop tops. And for a girl like me who has boobs, um, I was a little bit skeptical because obviously I don't want to show anything, but no, I feel like they really cover up and I feel like they soak you in a little bit, but they're so cute. Um, and I actually also have it on black, which I think you guys saw on my makeup summer routine and I was also wearing this one I mean they're perfect obviously to put underneath um, any top but I kind of love to put in it just along and then put my uh, Sara white blazer on it and I feel like it looks really cool and chic and very summer um, inspo but yes they're really inexpensive and I don't know I really want to get my hands I saw a yellow one and also a red um, again they're really out affordable and they're perfect to use as underwear as well but really happy to use these gummies i think they're just the perfect uh summer basic to use now another favorite which i know that it isn't a surprise guys you know i'm gonna talk about my sarah uh round straw bag i actually did a blog post about it i mean I am obsessed I'm so happy that I got it I was a little bit skeptical at first because I'm not really like a really impulsive buyer but I have seen these bags forever I always wanted one and I think if I wouldn't got in my Sarah flat crossover sandals maybe I wouldn't have it because I love how they blend in perfectly and I have worn this with everything and I think when I read it in the blog post I said I have to wear it with um swimsuit but probably if i would it i know that i would um i think what i kind of love is that the, it's really spacious so it's quite big you can put a lot of things in it um and obviously i love the shade and the material i know that sarah has another style that has more like a knot um but that one i didn't sew it now the only downfall is um that it is a little bit short i mean i like to wear this kind of bags crossbody but for some reason what i do is way too high um for me i like them to hit me just right on my hips and this one just comes a little bit too high for me but i could care less i'm just put it on the side of my shoulders and i'm happy and i feel like it's not just the perfect summer companion i think you can rock this all year so now let's talk about a little bit about entertainment what happened enjoying reading watching hearing and i think when it comes to songs right now i'm really loving noah Cyrus vibe if you don't know who she is she actually is miley Cyrus' baby sister i didn't know she sang but she recently did a song with labyrinth called i think it's called make me cry i kind of love more the acoustic version i think the song is really sultry i kind of get her vibe i mean when you hear her out you really think it's miley but no it's her obviously um but I really love it. I feel like she's so herself. Um, I think that Miley's a little bit more out there. Whether I feel like she's a little bit more reserved. So I kind of love it. Um, and I'm feeling her vibe. Obviously, I'm feeling this song. Um, has been my gem for these past few weeks. But yes, I think the girl can sing. And I really love her style. Now, when it comes to book, I think five years ago, 
might be five years ago i read this book from Gillian flynn i actually have it on my tabloid and is sharp objects um if you don't know who Gillian flynn is she actually is the writer of gone girl but before gone girl she actually wrote i think sharp objects i'm not sure either way um if you don't know the story i don't want to get too much away but it's about this girl her name is um Camille Pricker and she actually is a reporter now she has this assignment to go back to her hometown to investigate a in a way unsolved mystery murders with these two girls and she searches for clues but then in a way she kind of like reunites with her mother who she has like a really strange relationship with and also her half sister and then um she actually has in a way almost like puzzled it out um this in a way serial killer and it kind of like her past starts to identify with her young victims and, and also with her i mean it's such a thriller like if you really dark if you really love really dark and very obscure and really twisted stories i think this one is right up for you so I, what i kind of love is that right now i think hbo brought the miniseries uh turned it into a miniseries sorry and i have been watching i think we're in the fourth episode and obviously i'm completely hooked because i already read the story so i know what's gonna happen and i kind of love that they use um amy adams to play the lead role i think she's just perfect for it and uh, i also love the fact that they turn it into a miniseries because i think it's easier not to left things behind when typically uh studios make uh, adaptations of books movies they cut us so much off and I guess the fact that turning it into Hello Rooster into turning it into a mini series um, it gives more to the fans because the story is gonna be definitely more um, more out there so yes really happy I'm hooked on sharp objects on HBO now if we're talking about human I always found maybe inspiration throughout the months um, typically is a Instagrammer or in this case I think she's a youtuber but I have to talk about, I think her name is Allegra Sean. Um, I recently saw her casual summer outfits video and I think the girl is just on point. I love her style. Um, she has almost like this California girl vibe, but obviously, you know, with a little bit more edginess, definitely a little bit more high fashion. And I really love how she put her outfits together. Happy really inspired me to do also like a casual outfit uh, uh, video as well. So might be happening we'll see but i really find her inspiring and i want to live everyday summer for her because she just makes me want to buy more summer clothes <laughs> well guys this is it i hope you like my july favorites like always please uh comment below let me know what are your your life favorites and also give a like to this video if you do subscribe to my channel if you're new and yes i'll see you next week with a brand new video which i still don't know what's going to be but I think it's going to be maybe a styling one. So until then guys, bye.